everybody welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be doing some diy treats for the animals and also i'm going to be doing me on my pets of 2020 and i am doing a collaboration with fnf farm and fun and i will link their channel in the description box down below and also put their channel up on the screen um so after you watch this video go ahead and go to their channel and subscribe to them and watch their videos too so she will also be making a meet all of her pets of 2020 and that'll be super fun so i'm gonna make some treats for the animals so sorry that's my cat there but yeah let's go ahead and get into okay, the video everybody. so as you can see it is really muddy out right now it is a completely rainy day in florida but i am gonna put down a towel so they can eat their treats and i'll also videotape that and stuff but yeah, let's go ahead and get started to make the treats. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start making the treats for the bunnies. I'm just using these old bowls I used to use for their pellets. It has little hearts on them and it says best friend in each bowl. They are really cute. But first, I'm going to put in some pellets. Now, they already had some pellets this morning, so I'm just going to give them a, a little bit. Let me get a spoon here. I'm just gonna give them just one tablespoon each. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna start cutting up the cucumber. Okay, I'm just gonna put them in little cubes so it's easier for them to eat. And then after this, I will make like a big plate for the cats. Now they have wet food from the other day. I'm going to put that in there. Alright, so let me do the cucumbers. Okay, so I found the smallest carrot I could find in my fridge because I don't like to give my bunnies carrots that much because it does have really high in sugar. So I wanted to make it a little bit cuter and take off like the skin of it and then chop that up and put it in their bowls. And then I'll put some cubes of carrots in there too. So it'd be much funner too. So I'll just do two strands each probably. Each bunny. And then I will cut it up. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess. Here are the finished touches. They have cubes of carrots and cucumbers. And then some strands of carrot like skin. So it's much funner for them. That's the same for both of them. And then one tablespoon each of pellets. And yeah. Hey guys, I have these leftover carrots. Um... So there is two graves over there from my old bunnies. So my old bunny, honey, he died from old age. And I just like to give them a little treat for Valentine's Day, basically for the holidays. I know like they might not like actually come eat it, but I just believe in that kind of stuff. Um, but here they are. Like I said, honey died from old age. That is his little grave right there. And then the rescue bunny's grave is right there. The rescue bunny I found, me and FNF have kind of the same story. I found the rescue bunny actually being attacked by my cats. And there was almost an intestine coming out. But then we um, disinfected it. And also I had some leftover antibiotics from my cats. Because one of them had an infected eye and now it's all better now. But yeah. So I saved that rescue bunny for basically two days and then it passed away, I think from stress and all, but I did keep it and I feel like it would have died from the wild if I didn't have kept it in a little cage and it had hay and pellets and water and some veggies. I didn't want to give it a lot of veggies because it was a young rabbit. Um, but yeah, so it is currently really muddy out right now. And it is 
puddles and I can't wait to go mudding when my cousin gets here today. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go feed the bunnies their Valentine's Day treat. I didn't even realize my bike is out here and that is pretty bad because if I left it in the rain, it's going to get so rusty. Oh my god, it's so muddy. Well, let's pick this up and put it in the shake. Okay, so I just put my bike away, but now I'm going to go put away their pellets. And then I will give them their treats. And I'm going to go also go get an old towel so they can sit on so they're not sitting in the mud. They set out their towel and they are really excited. Come on, Munchkin. Here she comes. Okay, so here are the treats. I'm super duper excited to give it to them. So, oh yay, they just found them. Let me split them up so they can go to a, their own bowl. Go to your bowl, Munchkin. There you go. Oh, they love it. I hope they do. Now, Daisy ain't really a big fan of cucumbers, but hopefully she eats them. Let me get her on this towel so she ain't standing in the mud. There she goes. That's a good girl. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. And I also did make them this little center block here. Homemade. It's M plus D for Munchkin and Daisy. Gator chewing on my hands. Hey, kitty. Okay, they're not going to share bowls because they like eating together, but they'll eventually, um, they like to, like, equal the amount, so they're really honest about that. Ham over that. I'm going to leave them to that and come back and see basically how long it takes them, so I'm going to go ahead and start a timer now. So I did get this little twisty top, this twisty top bin here. It has their toys. It has... Their broom and dustpan when I sweep up their poos. And then, sorry about the cars going by, oh my god. But then it has their scoops in there for the pellets. So that is really helpful so I don't have to walk all the way to the shed to go get any other pet food. It is ant sealed and water sealed, so that is amazing. If you're wondering where to go get this bins at, I got them from TJ Maxx. Um, there's two different sizes. I got the big one for $20. And I wish they are really good prices because... They are ant sealed and water sealed. And then I got another one for $17. Um, and that is like the smaller one for the bunnies. But I'm gonna go ahead and introduce like the animals, like when I go through like feeding them their treats and stuff. So I'm gonna introduce the bunnies to y'all first if y'all haven't already know like their names and stuff. But so I rescued these bunnies from somebody. Um, they gave them to me. So they both came from the same pen in the same home. So they were, they are really good. They are both females. They are not fixed, but they never fight. They are in love, basically. They are best friends. Gator climbing up there. And that is Munchkin, by the way. I got her when she was a really tiny baby, and that is Daisy. Um, so she is about, she is a year old, and she is almost a year old. But I don't know the breeds of them. If you know the breeds, go ahead and comment them in the down below. I was trying to look it up on Google, but it is really hard to find the like the breeds of them. Um, but yeah, they are both rescue bunnies. Gator always wants to get in here, and he eats their food. Gator, Mister, come on! You have to get out. There you go. But yeah, they are really excited about that. So now it's time to give the cats their little treat. Um, so there is a stray cat that comes around, but I want to get all the cats together, and then he will probably eventually come around. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go make there their food. There is the stray. I'm going to eventually get the two girls fixed so they don't have babies. And there's the other one. That one I am keeping, and that one right there I'm keeping. I don't know what I'm going to name them yet. And then Gator, he is, that is Gator, and I don't know what my grandma's going to name him, because sorry she's guys, thinking. I just went out of storage to record, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go make their cat food.
Okay, so here are the cat's little treat. It is just some wet food. So the two kitties, two girls are here. Now I just gotta go find the boys. Okay, so there is the stray. I'm just gonna let him come over here because he does not like when people touch him at all. There he goes. Now I just gotta go find Gator. I haven't found Gator, but the bunnies literally ate that in less than five minutes. That is crazy. Happy Valentine's Day, bunnies. I hope y'all liked it. Okay, so I don't know where Gator went. He's probably going to explore. So he's missing out, but hopefully he'll make it back in time. Happy Valentine's Day, kitties. So every now and then the stray cat will actually let me pet it. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to pet it. Gator! Him. I feel like Gator's over here somewhere. Okay guys, so it is the third day since I have cleaned Shelly's tank. Um, Shelly is a female and I can tell by her tail. Um, because males tails are really short and girls are really long hers is really long um but i'm going to clean her tank today for valentine's day and also give her some skin of a cucumber um i already turned on her heat lamp and everything this morning and um i'm going to give her some of her pellets and also mustard greens every day i give her mustard greens and pellets so that'll be normal for her but the cucumber is going to be a little bit different and i will try to see her reaction on that too Okay guys, so this is Shelly here, and like I said, I'm pretty sure she's a yellow belly. If y'all know what she is, that's her shell. Go ahead and comment that down below as well. I also try to touch her neck, because like it feels good to them, but she doesn't like it much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put her in her tank here, and I clean her shell, um with a soft toothbrush uh, every two times I clean her tank. There she is, just chilling in there. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and take all of her houses and decorations into the bathroom and then we're gonna wash those and then I'll let them dry and then I'll do her tank. So this is her tank. She's scratching her face right now. Um, but that right there, the little black rock there is where she hides in and also sun sunbathes in. And then we got um, a dinosaur back there also for like a little friend. She loves that thing. And you can see she's hanging over here with her little plushie. Um, and I got some shells here because she likes to lay on those too and move them around and stuff. And you can see she's going. She's looking for food right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give her some. She knows she's about to be fed because... I just got her in her new tank, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give her this little cucumber piece. You can see her little head sticking out, but she, she's still there. I'm going to go ahead and give it to her and see how she likes it. And I'm just going to wait until she goes for it. So you can see she just took a bite of it, um, and then she spit it back out. So I'm pretty sure she don't like it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment your favorite part of the video. And you can go ahead and comment some video suggestions. Also, um, go ahead and go to FNF Farm and Fun and go watch their videos. And hopefully she has her meet all of her pets of 2020 up soon. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching.